my name is Harya Malimagar. Uh, this is another video of mine in IT Help channels. Of course, today also I'm going to talk about uh, DOCSIS 3 cable modem. Today I have uh, a Cisco EPC 3940L cable modem. It can both 16 downstream and 4 upstream at the same time. Let me log into the modem page and we'll show you basic configuration uh, of this cable modem. First, open the browser that you have. Default gateway for this cable modem is 192.168.0.1 and username and password will be blank. Uh, from here you can uh, check the status of your DOCSIS. Uh, here is the details of the modem. Modem status downstream here you can uh, here you can see it can burn up to 16 downstream but in my case it has locked only for downstream but it can burn up to 16 downstreams and 4 upstream so hit the login button and you will see this kind of page after you logged in uh, first uh, let's talk about setup menu uh, this is quick setup if you want to change your default username and password then you can change uh, from here wireless interface it has a uh, uh, two wireless band uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and it can be enabled uh, at the same time simultaneously you can see both uh, wire uh, wireless interfaces are enabled right now so you can change the wireless name here from here as uh, security mode and so on and LAN setup uh, for the, this is this is the configuration for the LAN side you can change the IP address of LAN side from here you can enable and disable the uh, DHCP and say uh, set the DNS from here the DNS and let me talk about wireless yeah as I already told you uh, it has a uh, two uh, wireless band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and it has different uh, configurations and you can uh, make different uh, configuration uh, for each uh, wireless interface if you want to uh, change any configurations for 2.4 gigahertz then you can change from here like channel or network mode or channel width so on and if you want to change for 5 uh, gigahertz then you can change from here also if you want to uh, disable the wireless surface then you can enable and disable from here and you can hide the SSID for individual wireless band and this is wireless security this is for 2.4 gigahertz and this is for 5 gigahertz mac filter if you want to block some uh, devices on the basis of their mac address then you can uh, block or enable the internet access from here uh, you can take the you know a customer uh, connected to a customer from here and you can copy the mac address of this uh, device and you can paste it here and if you want to uh, permit first you have to enable these features and if you want to block uh, for uh, some particular uh, mac address then you can check the uh, block option and you can you can set the uh, mac address of those customers you can set up to 32 mac address and if you want to uh, allow the internet access for selected customer then you can uh, check the permit and you, you need to type the MAC address of those devices for which you want to allow the internet access from this device okay. advanced setting uh, this is advanced setting uh, and uh, this also uh, can be done for uh, different uh, for different wireless interfaces for two point, uh, you can do separately for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 5 gigahertz wds and qs this let it be and sec uh, security vpn password and so on and access uh, restrictions uh, 
well uh, to access this uh, device if you want to allow only some particular IP address then you can uh, set the um, IP address of those devices and only uh, only a selected device can access your device from here same for MAC address application and gaming uh, from here you can uh, filter the port trigger the port uh, and for the port if you if you, if you are uh, you know uh, if you are planning to run uh, some particular uh, services on your home or beside this uh, modem then you can uh, set up the port forwarding from here this is very uh, simple um, hope you already know about this kind of stuff you can forward the board and so on administration uh, you can set the m2 size from here and if you want to allow uh, remote management then you can uh, check these features and up UPND this is very uh, handy and very easy and also it is very risky I would say it's risky as well uh, UPND features universals plug and play uh, if uh, if this features is enabled on your device and if you are connecting uh, a printer camera or any service on your network then it will automatically uh, configure like uh, your port for forwarding mapping and so on and also with the help of these features uh, hacker near around you may take advantage of this features so uh, so for the security purpose you should disable these features okay this is my recommendation but you can uh, do on your own risk this is email email alert you know if you, if you uh, want to uh, change the log of this device on on some particular email address then you can share the email address over here and backup and restore from here you can uh, take a backup of this con uh, backup of this cable modem and from restore menu you can restore the backup backup file and device restart uh, this is simple just uh, restart this is for to restart your uh, device from web and status uh, gateway uh, this is the uh, this is the basic uh, status of this cable modem uh, actually this is uh, this is the information of the cable modem and this is the wine wine uh, network status local network from here you can check the uh, connected uh, device and wireless uh, this is the status of 2.4 gigahertz and this is for 5 gigahertz yeah one more thing uh, this cable modem has a voice uh, features you can you can you know if your ISP is providing voice service as well uh, then you can we, we can uh, use voice telephone from this cable modem so this is for voice and this is DOCSIS one uh, yeah from here you can check the parameter of DOCSIS like downstream bond upstream bond and modem status and so on and the stories and sharing Uh, yeah, this is the basic uh, uh, configuration uh, for Cisco PC3940 L cable modem. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video till the end. And if you have any suggestion or if you uh, if you have any things you want to tell me, then you can uh, write a comment in comment section below. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end.